So look, if you take flu, everybody's got a reasonable level of immunity to flu. And we get flu because new, new flu viruses circulate every year. And our immune system to those new flu virus is okay-ish. It has some recognition, but it's not perfect. So you can get flu. The thing about the coronavirus, this, the COVID-19, is that we have very little immunity to COVID-19. And that is why it is causing such a problem. That's why it establishes severe infection in some people. And in those circumstances, I... I really probably, and this is proven by the vaccine trials, is that nobody who's been vaccinated or very few people who are vaccinated end up in hospital. So it really, a bit of immunity goes a long way for preventing the complication because we're all starting from a very low base. Our natural immune response to COVID-19 is pretty weak. And as a consequence, the vaccine can kick up a response which is going to be, in almost everybody, are protective enough to prevent severe infection. That's that's how I view it. I mean, we need more data to be absolutely sure, but that's what I think is the situation with the COVID nineteen. So, so is some protection? Does that mean, you know, you know, some protection means you might get the virus and you only have a sore throat as opposed to losing yeah. your smell and taste, you're losing your smell and taste and ending up in hospital. That's what kind of some protection means. Yeah, I mean, instead of ending up in hospital on a ventilator, you might be feeling a bit miserable at home for three or four days. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that That's the sort of thing. 